Hello, my friend. Wait. This isn't the same guy. This isn't even the same world. Oh shit, what up? Well, uh, welcome, boys and girls, because today, uh, the new update came out, right? And it added, check this out, I'm about to butcher it, the Tepeja, Tepejara, Tepejara, I don't know, people were telling me like five different ways to pronounce it in the last video. So, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see the Tepejara. There you saw it fly off, uh, but, uh, let's go ahead and spot another one in and attempt to force tame that. God, that is gonna be so hard. Aha! There we go, Tapajara. I got you. Anyways, I'm just gonna bring him out here for all to enjoy. This is going to be the stats of a pretty much perfectly tamed level 120. And I do have the saddle on hand here. Let's go ahead and throw that on. Super cool fact here. The saddle is a three-person saddle. <gasps> Say it is not so. That, mm hmm. It is so, it is so. Oh no, he's getting attacked. No, no, don't do that. Okay, well let's see how, let's see his battle prowess here. Let's see how good of a fighter he is. Not that good. This is a level 8 Argentavis, and he's struggling quite mightily, actually. So, already, right off the bat, he's not going to be a fighter, unless you uh, stat him specifically, because this is a low-level Argentavis you're going up against. Uh, spoiler, he sucks. So, let's look at his stats here. Uh, so, uh, 180 here, pretty much perfect aim. We have at health, pretty much 2k. Uh, stamina, 1400. Ox, oh, damn, that's a lot of stamina. Oxygen at 600, food 7,000, weight 500, so you can have a good amount of weight on him, which makes sense because he can carry multiple people. We'll get to that in a sec. Melee damage 267%, and movement speed 136.5. As you can see there, the topor on this fella as well is 8.5k, so it is going to take a good amount of trank arrows to knock him out. I don't know if you can bola him, so your best bet might be to grab a Argentavis or something and try to attempt to chase someone down. Check out this cool feature though, ready? Boop. Uh, uh, he, yeah, that, that's right. That's, that's a thing. He can literally land on trees. That is so cool. This is the first flyer to be able to do that. He can literally land on trees. He can also pick things up there with his right click. His C attack simply brings him down. So if you press C, he simply de-elevates. And his left attack is his normal little peck here. Really... It's it's not that good. Uh, let's see if he's can, he can't gather berries or anything with his pack. He can't uh, he can't harvest anything, but that does do something. However, right if we check out the saddle, it's a single player, so I can't show it off super well. But check this out. He does have multiple things here on the saddle, so we can board the front seat, and then we can't see ourselves because for some reason it's weird like that. And then if we hop off, there's also a rear seat we can board. So check that out. So what this thing's gonna be awesome for. Pretty much, in my opinion, this is going to be an amazing anti-air mount because, I mean, he's not going to be able to fight really well, but if your tribe has weapons and stuff, literally you just hop on this dude, have a guy in front with the weapon, guy in back with the weapon, you're going to be like a goddamn fighter out of Battlefield 1, right? You're just going to be able to shoot him, you're going to be like a bomber out of Battlefield 1, shoot in the front, shoot in the back, drop dodos with C4 attached to him, literally, this is the bomber, it could be the bomber. But that is a very cool feature, that it is a three-seated flyer. First of its kind, minus the Quetzal saddle, I guess, which isn't necessarily seated, though. And then here, if we go up in some of his stats, health goes up by, like, 100. I am curious to see how much weight and stuff go up by, but... Yeah, that is about to the top of Hera, and it's just gonna be super cool, because imagine, you have uh, this thing filled with people, right? And then you fly, and as you're flying... You decide you want to get the jump on someone, right? So you decide to land on a tree. And now you're thinking to yourself, Star, you're crazy. What, what, how would you get the jump on someone? Well, think about it, right? If you want to get the jump on someone, if you're landing in a tree, who, who looks up in the trees for a potential ambush? So then here your guy in the back would be able to shoot down. Guy in the front, I don't know if he'd be able to shoot down. But it would be very cool because you could literally just lie and wait in the trees. You regain stamina while doing this, which is, it's really cool that there's an elevated way of regaining stamina now. Uh, let's see, can you also attach? Yeah, you can also attach to even the smaller trees, so I guess that begs the question. Let's go see if you can actually attach to, like, different types of trees. Not necessarily redwood, because this is a native to the redwood biome. But let's see if you can attach to any sort of tree at all. If so, his versatility just shot through the roof. And the answer is yeah. So you got to tame him in the redwood biome. But listen, you can bring him anywhere. You can have him chilling in the trees. And you could have a flock of these guys waiting 
an ambush. And that's, uh, in my opinion, that's super cool, especially if you can like fly up into the leaves, right? And then let's, let's say you kind of, oh no, no, okay. What are you doing there, buddy? Why are you going down? What, where, where, what, are, what, what are you doing? Okay, he just, he went straight down. That was odd. All right, let's give that another go there. What, what the hell was that? I don't know. Hold up. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's get him right onto a good tree. And yeah, there you go. Look at that. You can attach yourself in the leaves, make yourself a lot harder to find, especially if you paint this guy with some camo, or even if you get some naturally cool colors. Um, he's literally just going to be blending in, which is insanely cool. Now, unless someone has, like, this tree textures disabled or something. But I don't know if that's legal. And then we got a couple more spawned and that got away. And they're just chilling. But a super cool flyer here that just fills a very unique role. I think that's the best way of describing it. It fills a very unique role of being kind of the passenger plane where you can have gunners on it. And that's really cool because if you have rocket launchers on this thing, boom, look at that. Or if you want to go tame something like a... Uh, something big or if you want to just tame something from the sky like shoot down on the ground get some guys with like trank arrows trank darts up on this thing and rain down hell and it just adds so much versatility which is awesome so i love this guy i, I really wish i could get a copy of him in uh in arc scorched earth so let me know what you think about that idea there where it's like i kind of carry him over after we go on like a separate adventure here in the normal one to tame one tame one legitimately in a normal world but then we just kind of quote unquote carry him over but uh, other than that, I do also want to hear from you guys. Uh, what is your overall thoughts of the Tapajara? However the hell you pronounce it. I'm sorry I just can't pronounce some dinosaur names. But uh, what are your thoughts on the Tapajara? I am quite curious. So go ahead, comment section, let me know. Also, if you wouldn't mind, I would very much so appreciate a like if you're still watching. But yeah, just let me know about this guy. Sorry that there was no Scorched Earth episode today. Hopefully we can get back to that tomorrow. But uh yeah, just let me know about this guy and let me know what your favorite feature of him is, whether it's the getting onto trees, right? If you can boop, get onto a tree and regenerate, which personally I love, or the fact it's a three-person saddle, which is really cool and some versatility that you really can't get until you get the platform saddle for a Quetz, which is insanely high level, but I love it. You know, I really do. And if you stand him right, he can be pretty fast. Plenty of stamina and he can do plenty of uh, work, 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 work. Oh, I'm not, not going not gonna to put you guys up to that. But uh, yeah, other than that, that is going to really do it for me. If I forgot anything about the top of Jara, if there's any questions you have, feel free to leave those in the comment section as well. In addition to anything else you want to put down there. And uh, I'll hopefully be reading through that tonight so before I go to bed and then tomorrow morning and stuff and then just kind of check it back. And uh, if you got any questions, I'll try to answer them. If I forgot anything, let me know and hopefully I can clear that up. But uh, I think that about does it. So you're going to just tame them, I believe, the normal way. Just use Trank arrows or anything Trank related. Knock them out. And then I'm not sure if this guy is a meathead or a vegetarian. He's probably one of the two. I'm going to check that really quick. I'm just going just gonna to disprove this really quick, right? I'm just going to grab some berries, throw them on here. Do you eat those? Nah, so he's a meat eater, right? His food's going down. He's a meat eater, so prime meat, you'll be able to tame him pretty well. Don't know what Kibble takes, but uh, yeah, other than that, that is a quick overview of this guy. Hopefully you did enjoy today's video, and uh, other than that, that's going to do it for me. So got the night vision goggles, and then the other smaller flyer native to the redwood biome to cover. But uh, yeah, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye my friends.